Welcome to TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Today, we're driving this, the Arkimoto SRK. Fully electric, zero to 60 in 9.8 seconds. Recharge time on the battery, six hours if you just plug it in your wall. It only takes two hours if you plug it in your dryer outlet. Whole thing weighs less than 2,000 pounds. It's a very quiet, very comfortable ride. Front wheel drive, the rear wheel is really essentially just stability. It's got a little bit of get up and go. All right, so we're here with Mark Frohnmeyer. Mark, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. Tell me a little bit about this vehicle. Why build this thing and how did it come about? People have asked me how it is that a software developer got into the vehicle business. <laughs> right. and, and really, I came at it as a consumer. I okay. was looking for a simple, sustainable way of getting across town. A bicycle is a great way to solve that problem, but not always applicable. There was just nothing that both solved that basic transportation problem and met a reasonable bar of sustainability for one person traveling alone or for right. two people traveling a short distance. They're very smart when they're putting this together. They decided that they don't need a GPS system, they don't need a stereo system. All you need is a smartphone. Why would we put in a huge sat nav system or all this tech when we can simply integrate everything using your phone? I just plug it in and this has a little adapter uh, which makes it easy to, uh, to do that. Low ground clearance. So you gotta take a hill like that pretty easily. But there you go, enough power to get me going up this decently steep hill. So this is actually a motorcycle, right? By regulation, it's a motorcycle, but it's a really a new class of vehicle. We looked at trying to find the sweet spot that married the efficiency of the motorcycle with the capability of secure, stable vehicle on right. the road. So no one's just gonna buy this and have it as their only car. Well, you think about most families have two, three vehicles in the driveway, how many of those vehicles are being used to carry five to seven passengers on a regular basis? Usually there's one or two that are just being used for one person to drive to the grocery store, right. drive to work, and so on. This fills that need very well. You might think of it like a second car, right. but in reality, what you'll probably find is it's the vehicle you're using every single day. So what's also cool about this car is there's no key. There is a USB device. This is it, that's the key. Let's say your friend wants to drive it, you just email him the file. Brilliant, right? He puts it on his USB device, comes out, there you go, and you're off. At about 17.5, this is a perfect second car. You can have one traditional, and then you have this. There's multiple configurations with this right. vehicle. We've got the base model, which is open air, and then there are three different options for full enclosure that actually sit on top of that base model. Okay. The battery bay itself is oversized, which means that it can accommodate everything from yesterday's lead-acid batteries at very low cost, low energy density, fully recyclable, to the batteries of tomorrow. I would argue that we still do not have the magic battery. Right. That presents that particular challenge for vehicle developers and the vehicle buying public. Sure, do you want to buy it now and then be like, oh, I'm screwed in a year and a half when I could have doubled my efficiency? Right, and so having that foothold in yesterday's lead acid space essentially lets the consumer say, well, I'm going to punt on the battery question for a few years. Okay. Let that space continue to mature. And develop and grow. Before yeah. I buy the 30-year battery that takes me for a full day of driving right. without And a solves charge. all my problems. Right. Really comfortable drive. Feels very stable. There's plenty of room up front for me. I've got plenty of headroom right here. This has the potential to really change the way we get around. If I'm tooling around and I just want to go somewhere, go to the grocery store, go to the gym, this would be a great vehicle. It's still fun to drive, it's engaging. It's not like a wimpy golf cart. It looks cool, obviously. A lot more stable than a golf cart. You wouldn't be doing this in a golf cart without tipping over, at least. I'll take it. All right, that's it for our time with the Arkimoto SRK prototype, a vehicle that aspires to change the landscape of personal transportation, and that's great. But what really matters to me is that this thing's affordable. Pretty cool. All right, for TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next week.